Before we begin, I just want to say Tweedledee and Tweedledum are brought to you by Burger King. I had Burger King for lunch yesterday and these two literally popped up about 30 minutes after I finished eating. Nice. Hey guys, we are going to do a shop my stash video today. Uh, we're going to actually go through my stash, shop through it, uh, vlog style, and then I'll uh, sit down and apply all the makeup to my face. So today's shop my stash, I think what I'm going to do is focus on one brand, which will be Tom Ford, and kind of pick out things that I haven't used in a long time, like a Forgotten Loves. Forgotten Loves. Tom Ford forgotten loves it's like a romance novel so let's go ahead and dive into my collection all right we're starting with my top foundation drawer uh like physically the top one not like my favorites are up here anyway um i have the radiant moisture souffle which is like a very nice moisturizing primer as witnessed by those um, burger king zits i think my skin is actually a little bit oily today it has been anyway so I think I'm going to skip any kind of like primer or anything so uh this one I've used a lot and we're trying to go for things that I haven't used in a while oh the stick foundation I love okay that is an option and then in my second drawer here uh these cushion foundations are options also oh and this guy oh this is a good one too you know I think I think I'm going to go for these cushion foundations so this is one of those like I don't know if it's like a corrector, but it's supposed to give your skin um, like a glow and like a, a very, very like super light wash of a tone, which would be pink for this one. So I'll pull that one out. And then here's the actual foundation, which I have in the color 2.0 buff. If you can believe, I don't have... I don't have any Tom Ford concealer. I had one, but it was very old. It had the sponge tip applicator, so I tossed it. And then just recently, I had a Tom Ford press powder. That one was super old too, and it just, I don't know, it just wasn't performing the way I was used to. So anyway, I tossed that one also. That one was like at least four years old, so I got rid of it. So I don't think I have any Tom Ford powders. I'm really waiting for Tom Ford to come out with loose powders. I, I don't know what the holdup is. But I think what I'll do is grab a concealer that I went really hard with like late last year and then just haven't used in a while. So I'll use this uh, Sicily one. And then for powder, let's find another kind of forgotten love. Um, I spy back there my Clay de Peau loose powder. I freaking love this powder and I just haven't used it in a while. So that's what we're going to use today. My Clay de Peau loose translucent powder. Here is my cream products drawer. I have a bunch of Tom Ford liquid highlighters there. I do have two of the cream shade and illuminate. I'm trying to think, I feel like I used these mm, kind of like recently. Oh, I have some cream blushes here. Oh, you know what I want to use is the Paradiso one. Isn't that such an amazing color? Okay, so I'm going to use this Paradiso cream blush. I haven't used that in forever. All right, so maybe I'll just stick with that cream blush and then we'll just move on to powders. Well, here's my face palette drawer and I have a bunch of the um, Soleil Contouring Compacts um, and then I have some of the Shade and Illuminate face palettes. Okay, so these are all the Shade and Illuminate face palettes that I have. I don't have all of them. There's like, I think a cool one that I don't have. Um, but I think I have the rest. You know, this one is actually really speaking to me. This is the Soleil d'Ombre, the 05 one. Yeah, there's something about this color story that just looks really, really pretty to me right now. Is it that cranberry shade? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this one out. Maybe play with these eyeshadows, that highlighter. And was I just calling these the shade and illuminate face palette? Sorry, these are the Soleil eye and cheek palettes. Wow, I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm anticipating needing a bronzer, and since I've been using that Terra bronzer to death, I'm thinking maybe I'll try and pull a bronzer out of one of these um, contouring compacts. All right, here they are, totally out of order. This was the first one that came out, the second one, the third one, and then this is, I guess you could say the newest. So I think I wanna use this one, only because I really, I do like this bronzer a lot. That bronzer I really like, this one was a little bit too warm for me. This one did not have a bronzer. And this one I really love, but I feel like, I feel like I've, I've reached for this one a lot. I'm gonna grab this one. 
All right, here's an overview of my Tom Ford lipsticks. I, well, I have a lot. Um, I think, you know, interestingly enough, of course I want something to kind of match that face palette, like a kind of cranberry color. I don't know if I have a cranberry type of Tom Ford lipstick, although I think a mauve could work, like a cooler kind of color. So let me pull out a few and lay them out here for us. All right, so these are the four that I pulled out. This is Egon, Evan, uh, Sugar Glider, and Devore. I think I'm leaning towards either Sugar Glider or Egon. They have like a little bit more of like a purpley tinge to them. So I'm going to pull these two out. I have a feeling actually that this guy could be bad. When I was opening up a bunch of my like uh, lips and boys. It, I don't know. I just got that like bad kind of like crayon <laughs> smell. So I think a lot of them have gone bad. Not really a surprise. I think a lot of them are maybe around like four years old. Uh, so anyway, maybe, you know what I'll do? I'll pull out these three and I'll like test these two because if they're bad, I'm just going to throw them out. All right. So we picked out the Tom Ford cushions here. So I'm going to start with the pink glow tone up. I'm showing you the compact like that's really helpful. Hold on. There we go. There's the pink glow tone up. And I like using cushions generally with like a sponge. So I thought I would take the opportunity to use my BK Beauty sponge. I got this a while ago and I just, I don't use sponges that often. So it's just been kind of sitting here waiting, waiting for my attention. So I just wet it and it has a really smushy kind of texture. It's a little bit more like bouncy bounce than the Sony Kashuk, like the white and black marbled sponges that I use. It's also a little bit smaller than that one. <laughs> that Sony Kashuk sponge is gigantic, which I really love. It covers a lot of surface area, but this one's really nice. And I do like this bottom here. And I like the shape of this. I feel like it makes it easy to hold like right here. Anyway, I'm gonna use the butt side and go right into this cushion compact. Picking a product, I was afraid maybe these cushions were dried out because they are not brand new. And I think for both of these, I've already like flipped the cushion over, but yeah, there's still plenty of product in there. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the Glow Tone Up. And for my skin tone, this pink one is just a great kind of like brightening primer. It's also very, very glowy. It's very moisturizing. It's great for dry skin, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And when it comes to cushion foundations, they're not really my favorite. You know, I feel like they, they can be decent, but compared to like my liquid foundations, um, they just aren't as good. But if I had to choose one, this uh, Tom Ford Soleil cushion, I think is my favorite. All right. So there's the pink glow tone up there. It just does this nice job. Like I said, it just kind of brightens my overall complexion. And I do think if I'm going to use this again, I'm going to have to flip the cushion over. I don't know if you guys can see, can you see how it's like white? Like that's just the cushion with no product in there. Anyway, so that's the pink glow tone up. And now let's go in with buff. I'm holding up the compact for you again. Like that makes a difference here. Here is a 2.0 buff. And I don't have much of that pink glow tone up uh, left on the sponge. So I'm going to go in with the sponge the exact same way into buff. Looks like I have a decent amount of product left, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to flip this sponge around too. I really like this sponge. I feel like with some um, sponges like I'm not the biggest fan of Beauty Blender. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I feel like with that sponge in particular, I feel like I have to like pounce a lot for the product to kind of like blend in. But I don't feel like I, I need to do that with this sponge. I feel like I'm going over it just like once or twice and it looks like blended in. Like I don't feel like I need to like beat my face down, which is great. I really feel like sometimes I'm getting a workout <laughs> when I use uh, sponges. Got some in my hair. That's what happens when you don't put a headband in. So I always forget how much coverage this cushion foundation has. I want to say it is, it's like close to a medium because I feel like it really kind of knocks out any of the excess redness that I have like around my nose. My blemish is very much like dampened that Burger King blemish that I had here and the one that I had here. This one's really red. And this foundation is super glowy. Very, very glowy. All right, so that is 
the Soleil cushions. Let's move on to, oh, let me quickly just put on some of this Sisley brightening pen. I think I could use it maybe underneath, well, especially this eye. I feel like this eye looks really dark. And I also did not have a Tom Ford powder, so we pulled out the Clé de Peau Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I thought this would be a good match because that glow tone up had a little bit of like a pinkiness to it, as does this powder. This powder, I don't even know if you'll be able to tell, but it, it has just, just the slightest bit of like a pinky tinge to it. And it looks, you know, kind of like brightening on my skin. So I do, I really do like the tone of this one, but I don't think it'll work if you have like a warmer skin type. I think it may end up looking a little, ashy so let me find a clean brush oh this one's clean i'm gonna use my hourglass um, powder brush i have not used this in a while i like this brush it's not my favorite powder brush uh but it's okay it's okay so i'm just gonna tap off any extra here and this is a matte uh powder this powder does not have any shimmer or anything to it so i like to use it lightly otherwise i feel like i look a little dry and it has the clay de peau rose scent to it so Keep that in mind if you are not a fan of scented powders. If I remember correctly, I think this Clay de Peau powder is like the very first loose powder that I really fell like head over heels in love with. I think this was the one. I had tried a few that were nice, some that I really couldn't stand, but this one was kind of like the game changer for me. I was like, oh, this is what loose powder can do. Anyway, back to Tom Ford. Oh, I had cream blush. Well, that's okay. I only put down a little bit of powder. So let's move over into this cream blush that I pulled out. This is Paradiso. I think this is, it's limited edition. I think quite a few things that I pulled out, unfortunately, are limited edition. But many of you have actually told me that you like when I use limited edition products because you have them in your collection. It reminds you that you have them um, or gives you an idea of how to use them. Anyway, I think this one is limited edition. So I'm wondering... I like actually applying these with a brush. Yes, I think I will do that. Let me grab the refer cheek brushes are like my favorite with cream blushes. So this is number five. I'm just gonna go in, pick up some product, and then I'm going to just kind of not swipe too hard because I have that powder down, but just kind of like press and press and flick, I guess. Wow, good thing uh, the strong blush look is in. This color is so good. It's like instant heat to your cheeks. Love it. And now let me go in with some bronzer. So I grabbed the um, Contouring Compact in Basque and I'm gonna use this bronzer up here. I'm just kind of cupping where I put that blush and then we'll blend it all in. This bronzer has a really nice sheen to it. I think you guys can see it in the pan there. It's really pretty. It's like a nice kind of satin finish. I think it worked out okay. Yeah. I also wasn't sure what was gonna happen kind of blending this powder into the cream, but I think it worked out nicely. All right, let's move on to highlighter. So I have this face palette. This is the Soleil eye and cheek palette in the Soleil Dombre color. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this highlighter here. And I'm gonna use my Sonia G Designer Pro brush and go into the pan here. That is a very striking highlight. I'm gonna use that uh, powder brush, the hourglass powder brush that I used and just kind of pounce on top to help blend that in. I don't really like having that stripe of highlight. God, I think I forgot how like wet looking this highlighter is. It is so innocent looking in the pan, isn't it? Just looks like it's going to be eh, just a straight up kind of like powder highlight. It is gorgeous. All right, I've got my fiber brow gel. I have it in the color granite today. And I'm just going to throw this into my brows. Can never go wrong with the fiber brow gel. Okay, let's go back to this Soleil Eye and Cheek palette and 
get some of these gorgeous shadows on my lids. I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna use these two colors and then throw some of that on with my finger. This color is very, very light. Maybe I'll add that to the corner, like my inner corner, maybe brow bone. It's a little shimmery for my brow bone, but I'm gonna start with this color down here. And I've got my Isom S33 brush, and I'm just gonna start on the inside here along my lash line. Bring it over, bring it up. It's a beautiful taupe with like a satin finish. Okay, we've got that pretty much all over. I left the outer corner kind of blank there because I wanna go in with the cranberry color here. So I am gonna use, I like to use a flat shader to apply it. So I'm gonna go in with my Chikahoto GSN 9 brush. I'm not sure if it's clean, so let me do, let me do a little cleaning here. There we go. Okay, going into the cranberry shade and using that to deepen up my outer corner here. I'm just going back to my um, S33 brush and kind of blending everything out. Now I'm just gonna take my finger and go into this gold shade. It's like a topper shade. And I'm gonna just pick up a little bit and just tap it right onto the center of my lid and towards the inner corner. Just add a little bit of sparkle. And then let me take a little pencil brush and just add some of this maybe to like the corners here and maybe a little bit underneath my eyebrow. We'll keep it light. All right, I've got my Sony G Pencil One brush. This shadow is like surprising like this highlighter. It has such a beautiful like silky shine to it. It's so smooth, but it's really, really reflective. It's a little bit more reflective, I think, than it appears in the pan. So I'm actually not going to apply it underneath my brow bone because I think that'll look a little bit funny. So I'm just going to leave everything as is. I'm just going to grab my Sony G Detail Pro brush and just run it across the top here. And next, I'm going to use my Tom Ford Emotion Proof Liner in Dominator. It's just the black color. And I'm just going to tight line with this just to kind of like finish finish off the eye look. It looks a little undone at the moment. There, I think that little bit really, really helps. All right, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then apply some of the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. Sorry, I just realized I had like a blotch of pigment there. There, that looks better. All right, and on to the lips. So we pulled out three lip colors. Two of these Lips and Boys I feel like are probably bad, so I just kind of wanted to play around with them. And then we took out Sugar Glider, uh, which is what I think we'll probably end up with. But I have Evan and Egon, and both of these colors I swear I've had for at least four years because I think I got them before I moved here to Vegas. I did notice that I was like kind of like checking out my Tom Ford lipsticks, seeing if they were bad or not, and I was just doing a sniff test and these smell okay, but as soon as I put them on my lips, it was like, ugh, like they all of a sudden just tasted like clay. Actually, now that I smell this one, I think this one is bad. This one is Evan. I'm gonna just swatch it on my hand. Yeah, it smells like, like everyone says, like old crayons. To me, it kind of smells like clay. I don't know if you guys have ever taken like a sculpting class, but it's that kind of like old, earthy, dusty kind of smell. So that is Evan. Unfortunately, Evan, you are bad, so. I'm gonna toss Evan. And then we have Egon here, which is such a cool, like frosty, light mauvey color. Egon smells a little bit better, but I don't trust that. Let me, let me try. Actually, Egon is still okay. I'm really shocked. So there is Egon on the lips. I feel like Egon and this eye color is like so close in tone that it kind of washes out my face. Sugar Glider is definitely a newer one to me, but you never know. It smells okay. 
Yeah, I like this color. It's like a little bit brighter than the eye color, so I don't feel like my whole face is washed out like it was with um, Egon. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with Sugar Glider. So here is my final look using some Tom Ford Forgotten Loves. I hope you guys enjoyed this Shop My Stash video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.